You say I make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I am doing a follow-on video from the um, cleaning schedule, weekly schedule video that I did for everyone that watched. Thank you so very much and for all your lovely comments. Um, I am so great. I'm so happy that it was such a success and lots of people said that they were going to follow the schedule. So I am really happy about that because when I was posting it, I wasn't sure how it was going to do. So, um, yeah, so I'm really, really glad that most of you found it really, really helpful. I would like comments, please, if you've done it and how you found it. I don't mind if you put it in this video or back in the video that I did last Tuesday. Um, so anyway, in this video, I just, just to follow on from that, I wanted just to share a few things that people who have a clean home don't do. Um, and I think the pro the reason why I'm doing these videos really is just so that I can make life so much easier for you guys Is the summer months we want to be out and about but we don't want to come back to our homes looking rubbish so This is how I want to make it easier for you just to make sure that you're keeping on top of things But it is not stressful. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about number one is procrastination when things that you know that you need to do something like your weekly schedule that we did last week just get it done I mean 20 minutes in your morning just get it done and then you know it's done and done for the day that's your cleaning done you can get on with the rest of your day it's I always look at it like the way I do exercise I wake up and I'm like oh I don't want to go to the gym today or oh, I don't want to do anything but the minute you start and finish you go ha huh, it's finished now I don't need to worry about it my second uh, tip well the second thing that people with clean house don't do is that they follow a schedule I shared a schedule with you guys last week so follow that schedule if you can or tweak it so it suits your home the beauty of things like this is that cleaning just really I think the pro, the reason I'm doing this is to make cleaning not look like such a chore if you're following a schedule and you know that you just have to get this done then you get it done it is you tackle the mess at the time it just becomes less of a problem for you and you're not sitting looking at it and asking yourself when is my butt gonna get off the chair so that I can go and do this it's just done and done and you know that it's finished so my third tip is your deep cleaning I I know that people will not some people leave it till spring to clean and then they do a deep clean once in a year I don't like to do that I've done that quite a few times and it takes forever sometimes I'm cleaning the house and I'll do it today and then I'll do another day and another day just to get everything cleaned out I try to do my deep clean every season so when i'm clearing up my wardrobe for that season or trying to get rid of things that i don't need i will just clean in there and clean up both my wardrobe cupboards or something like that clean the doors and just make sure that that space is clean if i'm changing sheets or changing uh, cushion covers i just do all that cleaning in one go i just find that it's easier just to incorporate it in your cleaning as you go along so it doesn't feel like i am spending four days just to give my house a whole big deep clean or something like that i just try to do it all in um in when i'm doing my seasonal decor i will just make sure that that space that i'm decorating i really get into it and get it clean my fourth tip is just to follow through with every chore that you're doing when you start laundry i know a lot of people will say to me i hate laundry i hate ironing that i don't do but i found a simple way to do it which i shared with you guys a little while ago i use a steam iron the one that you handheld steam iron that works perfectly fine for me find things that make your your cleaning your home or looking after your home easier you know organizing simple um what do you call it simple equipments to make it easy for you um so that when you start a chore start for if you're doing laundry do it and do it all the way to the end don't wash it and leave it in the washing machine and then don't forget to put it in the dryer and then it comes back and it stings and you have to rewash it again and then you're telling yourself off and then it stays in the dryer for three days and then it's super wrinkled so when you go to fold it now everything things that didn't need ironing now you have to iron them so you see can you see like if you leave it you just make the chore longer and longer and make it a lot more worse so when you start something follow it through and just get it done and done it's it's super simple i'm sometimes i'm doing laundry and i'm cooking and once it's finished i dry it once it's dry i just sit down put 
a, a video on YouTube, listening to some music, chatting to the kids or whatever, and then I'll just fold everything and put it away. And that's it done. Now my fifth tip is really an advice. Cleaning is only hard because you make it hard. That's the only reason why people will find cleaning hard. It is only hard because you make it hard. As you, If you're cooking, I'll give a kitchen for instance. If I'm making dinner, as I'm cooking, I'm washing the things that I'm using. So by the time I'm done, everything is finished. And then once we eat, everything is washed and then the kitchen is clean and dry. As you, if you, if you clean as you go, it just makes life a whole lot easier. I tend to like in the mornings when we're getting ready to go out, work, school, all that kind of stuff, I tend to let the kids do the bathroom first and then I do it last. Then that way I can clean up after them as I come out, you know, make sure that their toothbrushes are clean and put them away, dry the sink, spray the bath. So then that way I know that when I come back, my this, the, the bathroom looks like it was never used in the first place. It's just that simple things. It takes you five minutes, but it's five minutes that will save you. Imagine if you build up that rubbish over and over and over again. It's five minutes that could turn into an hour of cleaning something that would have just been done as you go along. So clean as you go. It is simple to do it that way. And it cleaning, it just makes cleaning a lot more easier what i'm aiming for is to get to that point where i don't go oh god today is cleaning day now i have to sit down and start worrying which bit do i do first and then i get myself all stressed so doing these simple processes it just makes life a lot more easier and my last tip if you've been watching my videos you hear me say this over and over again everything has to have a place you have to have a place for everything if you don't have a place for something always try and declutter as often as you can because there will be things in your home that you don't use and you can get rid of them so that everything has a space there are two spaces in my home that i'm going to declutter soon and i'm going to share it with you guys because i'm looking i opened it yesterday and i was like oh i need to get rid of some of these things it's like all my deco items i think i have over the years accumulated quite a bit and there are things that i can see that season by season has passed and i haven't used them so it's time for them to go but i'm going to declutter those two spaces and i will share that with you so that's what i mean once i go to put something and i can't find space for it and then i tell myself something from that cupboard has to come out because this this is the only space that i have for stuff like this i don't and that's how i keep on top of the amount of things that i own and ensuring that everything has a place i do that with my home decor i did with my kids clothes my clothes I do it with beddings. I do that with everything. I, I am one of those people that I don't have a problem with throwing away things. I don't throw them away. I take them to the thrift store so that somebody else can be blessed with it. And But I, I am good at getting rid of things. And when you do that, you find that everything has a space. You know exactly where everything goes. It makes keep, keeping your home organized and tidy so easy. So those are my tips. Understand your home and do not procrastinate. Make sure you follow through with your chores and clean as you go along and the world will be a happy place. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and